business has received a lot of backlash from critics on social media, especially on Facebook, saying that a career woman who gets home at the end of the day to cook for her husband is a slave, adding the mentality that the kitchen is for the woman must be erased. So tell me, do you think a career woman who cooks for her husband at the end of the day is a slave? But what are you going to say about the men also? In terms of uh, the cleaning and every um, cleaning of the house, tidying of the place and stuff, women, you're supposed to concentrate on the kitchen so that at least uh, food and uh, taking care of the kids, that one is for the women. Uh, keeping, keeping the place. Uh, and I think that's all. Keeping the place neat, that one, that one goes for the man. So I, I see nothing wrong with the woman cooking after work or something. This often happens. People who work, this career, especially this career woman, most of them, even one month, uh, you can see them one month, no cooking in the house. And I think they have to come together between her and her husband to come an agreement to cook in the weekend and store the food in the fridge. At least after work, you can heat it on your microwave so that both of you can enjoy. Maybe they just want to be hurt because being brought up as a young girl, you are taught how to cook and then you are taught how to manage your home. So irrespective of the fact that you have learned doesn't change that fact. You are obliged to cook for your husband. It doesn't matter because uh, with our cultural settings, women, the, the kitchen is the place for the woman. Okay, but then I don't see anything wrong when it comes to the fact that the man is able to cook. Once a while, uh, if the man can cook, why not? Oh, very interesting comments there. But did I hear the gentleman say that the kitchen is our place? I was wondering whether the gentleman was still living in the 1920s. I think he should come again. No, 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 no. That's not possible. <laughs> Let's check out what you've been putting on Facebook. <laughs> well, uh, Finahas Redu says, You were not a slave when you were cooking for your parents, were you? These feminists are not for the good of women. It worries me that just a two-year stay in America makes them more <laughs> American than the Americans themselves. <laughs> so so they're not saying, well, I'm not supporting that fact that, mm -hmm. I mean, what she says, that cooking for your husband makes you a slave. But I also don't think that statement, the kitchen is our place. I mean, it should be a thing of the past. There should be what a certain balance there. Definitely. But William Mintawia, he says, my lovely wife cooks for me. She, she asks, darling, what food will you take this day? Sometimes I tell her, anything. Oh, I wish I could have plantain, cochlean leaves, and salted fish. I feel great by telling her, you made my day. She's very happy with it. Marriage has certain conventions that spice it with laughter, w love, and warmth. Sometimes, where necessary, I help when we are alone. A woman is a woman, wife and a mother. A man is a man, husband, and a father. All other functions are shared responsibility. As a married woman, you can choose to be rigid in your thoughts and actions. No wonder I'm witnessing unprecedented divorce, divorces here and there. It's not by force for you to marry. <laughs> that is also freedom. But as long as you're married, behave as such. I, wow, I that's think very I agree with you perfectly, yeah. of course. I mm -hmm. mean, cooking, sometimes you can even make it a hobby. Yeah. You just enjoy doing it. Exactly. I don't see anything wrong with it. At all. <laughs> now, Alex Kukula says, someone should educate me on what, uh, quote-unquote, career means. My dad was a soldier. My mom ran a chop bar all her life and took care of nine of her own kids and many others we didn't know uh, who were not our siblings until we grew up. I wonder if my... Blessed mother had a career. Mm, mm, and Alex mm. Ankuma says, You will check and see all of them are born are born one without husbands. <laughs> <laughs> it's pain that is making them say these things. Oh really, Alex? <laughs> mm, we, we cannot verify that. But Coyo de la Fuente says they call themselves feminists because no man wants to be with them. It's funny. Men today are even helping their wives in with the house chores. Hmm. Hmm. And Daniel Governor writes. Nankahu should prepare the food. Maybe I will help her preparing 
the food because of her work or tight schedule. If women want cooking to be a shared responsibility, then chop money to be a shared responsibility, period. <laughs> <laughs> that's interesting. But that's why it's even a pleasure having the two of you in the kitchen. Mm. This one chopping onions, this one chopping tomatoes. It's fun. And it's nice. And it spices up the relationship. All exactly. right. So also before people get married, they usually would want to know much i mean get information of their partners and they do that from their partners before taking that final decision question what would you require from your partner before taking that decision is it the employment history credit score criminal record or their bank account balance the information i want her to share with me will be um basically on academic performance way back in the school before uh anything else this is the reason is um, maybe one day, someday, nobody knows if maybe I become somebody great in the future. Maybe somebody responsible for the society, especially Ghana. And I go in for somebody who is, uh, let me say, a prostitute or somebody, and let me say, like uh, an Arabah. And maybe it can also uh, affect my uh, res respect people have for me in the society. Uh, of employment um, records, you know. Right now, the system, how Ghana is right now, we need to really date a girl who is really working. Well, I'll ask her about her employment because I think it is very important to be employed as a lady to help your husband in future. So that is the reason why I'll ask her about her employment, whether he's working or not. And I'll also look at the kind of work he's doing in case if I can help her out to support her so that in future it will benefit our children. I'll be looking at the employment aspect of the whole thing because uh, marriage nowadays seems to be more like a business you know, venture. So once um, she's coming on board, though I'm going to take care of the expenses and everything to run the house, I also, I also expect her to bring the little she has on board so at least we can carry the business up and move it forward as we all expect it to be. We're trying to pull your messages on Facebook. A lot of comments are on this issue. But let's look at spousal chores, which has also been a source of disagreement for many couples. And uh, if you look at the first issue, it's one of the things that came out. Sometimes this leads to breakups. So what if you are the one paying all the bills? What would you want your partner to do to supplement it? Cooking, cleaning, and laundry? or sex massages and foot scraps, or even garden work and car wash, or maybe all of the above. I think that even though uh, it's like a closed box, but I, I, would, I would require my partner to do all the above. Now, and my reasons are, now, I, I, because I'm the one paying all the bills, now you know that I have a busy schedule. I have to do all the rounds, get the money. You know, it is not easy to come about money these days. Now I look at our economic situation and all that. So if my partner is required to do all this, I don't think that is a bad thing. I'll go for the first one, the cooking, the cleaning, and warehouse, all those things, yeah. Because she's the lady and I'm the husband. And for me, naturally, is what she can do. Where I was brought up from, we... The women are supposed to help their husband. So even if he's to do all the four options, I'll just help him. Obviously, I can't allow my wife to actually do the garden work. So the cooking, cleaning, and then the laundry will be best for her for now, while I actually do the paying of the bills and the other stuff. I can even help her sometimes when, I'm, when she's tired, you know. Yeah, that's love. <laughs> I like the last guy he says, yeah, I can help her do the washing. So, yeah, that's, that's love. love. That's you know, love. that's love, man. <laughs> Let's check out what you've been posting okay. on Facebook. Demi Dear Simon uh, writes, I should have known the status of my partner, terms and conditions before coming together. So no new demands or requirements thereafter. Everything is pre-informed. And Success Corp. Mula says, not necessarily the above, but I expect her to be respectful, loyal, and most importantly, appear sexier and hot at all times. <laughs> oh, really? Davidson Agron says, um, A, because that was her duty of which she can't run away from, and automatically, automatically love comes uh, in which will involve sex. 
really mm. a quote about me says okay uh going by the options available i think b is just cool for me so. and tofik dean uma says none of the above loyalty companionship and love is all i need and kwesi buatana says love and affection that outweighs everything uh no betty says just respect and care for the children your boy solomon says nothing but love and loyalty Papa Abekar, uh, when she comes in to say respect and humbleness, mighty Raymond yeah. says mm -hmm. nothing much, just the normal things like uh, she cooking and tending, attending to our kids and the daily normal stuff. Safia, Safiu from Bali says, I expect her to respect and appreciate all what I do for her, period. And definitely A, B, that's Johnson writing, A and B is already a responsibility. And <laughs> he's laughing there. Evan Sapir says, anything, because you're doing everything. And um, Boateng Arsenal says, simple, respect will do. Okay, simple, respect will do. And Isaac comes in to say, submission, absolute submission. <laughs> and Juliana Boache comes in to say, good cuddling, really? Okay, day day. And Walanya Kutia writes, Yes, truly, all of them. So um, let's check out the last comment. Okay. Understanding. Rapid Joshua comes in to say, A, cooking, cleaning, and laundry. Love is guaranteed. And Cleo David says, understanding. Very interesting comments on Facebook. Mm -hmm.